What's up everybody? Uh, one of my most popular videos a long time ago was me opening up a Harman Kardon um, Onyx, Onyx, however the heck you say it, um, one of those circular Bluetooth speakers, just kind of showing the insides of it. And that kind of made me want to open up this one. Um, this is like my favorite current uh, Bluetooth speaker. I know they're pretty popular, um, great price point. They're like under 150 bucks. You get two nice drivers in there, uh, two tweeters. You get the lights, you know, if you like the lights, um, FM radio, you know, USB charging, microphone inputs, auxiliary inputs, a lot of good features for it. it does have uh, wheels and like a retractable handle. But I was like, you know what? These lights in this thing are kind of lame. It's just like some preset light shows. Like you get solid colors or you can get like a multicolor kind of dancing one. I was wondering what it would take to upgrade the battery. The battery in this thing is phenomenal. Let me put that out there. But a lot of times in these big Bluetooth speakers, there will be this small little battery pack and simply just basically splicing in another one or a couple of them or, you know, swapping in a different battery altogether can, you know, greatly increase playtime, you know, your charge output, stuff like that. You know, your, your length of time you can charge something like your phone or something like that. And I was like, you know what, let's pop this thing open. Let's see what it, uh, what it looks like in here. So pretty easy to open up. I already do have it open. I did remove the back handle, as you can see, which is this piece right here. And it goes like this. This just has um, four Phillips screws. Didn't need to remove this, but I thought this thing might open up from the back, so I removed it. Um, I don't honestly use it that much anyways, so I might just leave it off. I don't really know. I don't really wheel this thing around. But um, so it opens a couple different ways. There's depending on what you want to do. Um, your guts, for the most part, are going to be up here, like your control board, a lot of your wiring, stuff like that. And then in the bottom, so basically this whole top plastic piece kind of lifts off right here. And then same thing with the bottom. That bottom plastic piece kind of lifts off. And the bottom houses your battery. So to pop this off, you have four screws. You have one under these rubber feet, which are just, you know, like adhesive. I just use like a flathead screwdriver. They pop right off. Um, you have one in each of these. And then these two right here. And then back here, you have two more on the top of these wheels right here. Like I said, don't mind the dog here, but those right there. And then this thing with a little bit of force comes off. And you can see, I was very surprised to see the battery in this thing. It is a 12 volt um, without taking it out. I'm not sure. I will take it out and I'll let you know. Uh, looks like maybe like a nine amp hour battery. There definitely looks like there would be room to squeeze in something a little bit bigger. Um, here's the speaker cabinet right here. So I'll get to taking that off too. But for now, we're going to pop this back on. Head to the top here. Now the top is a little trickier. So you have the same two in the handle right here. But then in this little slat that can hold like an iPad or your cell phone, you got to pop this, you know, rubber thing off. So again, I just use a flathead screwdriver. It came right off. No issues. And then you have three screws in here. Nothing in the back. Um, I did pop these off, but that is not necessary. And then this one is a little bit trickier, but it will come up. Now, when this part comes up, there's a lot of wires connected to it. You're only going to get maybe three to four inches up. And what you're going to have to do is disconnect all these connections. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've already done them. They're very simple. They only go back one way. So, you know, for example, that's gonna plug in there. This wide one plugs in here. This other little bit less wide one plugs in there. Um, this big power one with three pins plugs in to this. This one with two pins plugs into this one. It's pretty straightforward. It's not hard. But there, now you got that out. Now, if you wanna remove this big front speaker cover, it looks like we've got two Phillips on the top. 
which I'm going to remove. And then we have our two on the bottom. So now I'm going to remove the battery, which just has some spade terminals on it. And it looks like they might be pinched on, so I'm just going to use like a little hook or something just to kind of assist in removing these. There we go. Just show you the terminals up close. Standard stuff, but there is like a little notch in there and they do have like a little pin in these that's kind of pinched to keep them on. Just, I use the hook, but you can use like a flathead screwdriver or anything like that. Might fight you for a little bit, but you'll get it. And then we have the same two screws right there and right there. These ones are a little bit deeper, so my drill might not work here. And now our front panel should come off. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so there is a little bit of adhesive and just with a little bit of force, it'll come out. And then we are left with this. So the adhesive I'm talking about is on these little posts right here, which would normally screw in from the back, but since this is a box glued together, that's kind of easy way out, I guess. But you got your two tweeters right here. Um, you got some of your lighting right here. This is what reflects on these woofers. And yeah, and then you got your, uh, looks like this grill will pop off if you want with these little metal tabs right here, right there, right there, right there. It looks like it'll be a little bit hard to get to, but I maybe pop these boards off and then you'll be able to remove this grill if you needed to. I'm thinking about it because I think I would like to put some addressable LED strips in right here, which are like the really bright, they're really dense and you know, they have all the dancing patterns that go up. Yeah, be cool time to paint this thing or customize it. You probably have this thing powder coated even because this grill is metal. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, there's really nothing you can do with this back charging panel because um, the AC input right here is glued in, uh, the wires for it. So that's really like all you can get out, but let's pop the woofers out. Let's see what we got. The little amp in there, I got the port. And I mean, it's pretty basic to be honest with you. We've got our battery leads. Um, the battery leads go straight up from the bottom up to here, which I believe is this one right here. So if you did want to tap into any of the 12 volts, um, not from the battery, you could use that. I would recommend tapping into the battery because 
I'm sure this thing is probably pretty maxed out um, amp wise, you know what it's going to be pulling for juice through that little cable. So here's the inside. Get you guys the best look I can. I apologize, it's kind of crappy. So that's your amp. Then the big black thing right there is your port. And then that bottom part right there, that is your battery terminals, or your, yeah, I mean your battery connections, which come up to here. Then that is your like little input output control board. And then here's what the speakers are. Let's check these bad boys out. 40 watts, two ohms. Two ohms, 40 watts, you can see right there. All right, so as for battery space, this should give us a good look kind of on what we have to work with. So the battery, like width-wise, as you can see, pretty much fills the, fills the space. There is about maybe a quarter inch um, between the speaker box here and the top of the battery now currently. Um, but width-wise, there's definitely more room. Basically, you've got all this right here. So my idea is to find a similar battery that's, you know, the same height, the same width, but maybe taller. I'm not really sure. Let's take this one out, check the specs. Four Phillips screws. And, oh, I was wrong, seven amp hours. 12 volts, seven amp hours. Looks like it's a GS12V7AH. So GS, probably the model, 12 volts, seven amp hours. It's a good size battery for this thing though, honestly. Um, what I plan on doing though is attaching a second set of leads and somewhere on the back of this box having a 12 volt connection where I can either, I could charge this thing in the car, you know, plug it into like a cigarette lighter uh, because it's 12 volts or pull 12 volts out of it. You know, say I have like a random car accessory or something like that I need to power. Um, lighting when the, the power goes out or something like that at home. Just kind of make this thing more useful. Um, you can put like a, a cigarette lighter on here. You know, that way you can like plug car chargers in, you know, for like your phones and whatnot. All right, guys, been a couple minutes here. As you can see, I'm getting the grill off. Like I said, all you have to do is bend these tabs, all these metal tabs that are sticking through here that are, you know, the same as the grill. They're going to have holes in them. They're along the side here. There's one here, two here, one here. Same thing with this. There's one up here, two here, one up here. And then you can just kind of start pushing it out. And if it gets caught up on anything, then you know you didn't bend the tabs, you know, one of the tabs enough. But boom, there we go. It actually looks really cool without the grill on it. But, but here are the lights. So, oh man, this thing is dusty too. Good time to clean it. So yeah, a lot of people think these speakers light up. It's not actually the speaker lighting up. What it is is this thing right here has these lights in the back of it, which shine against the speaker and cause it to glow. And then these strips right here are what I'm looking for. So let's figure out how to pop these bad boys off. Looks like there's just tabs. So I'm going to take these screws off right here, take these little boards off, see what happens. Aha, that's the lights for these things. So <laughs> these whole things don't even light up. There's just a light here and a light here. That's crazy. Let's try to use this hook and 
pop this out. I feel like it's being held in by something. Nope. There it goes. It does feel like, yep, there's just, it's like adhesive. So I'm not trying to damage it because I do want to reuse the cover if possible. And then once you get it peeled off to one of those snaps in the back there, just push it with your thumb and then just kind of continue peeling till you get to the next one. See, these are the things I'm talking about right here, which are these. So I got to this one, so pop that out, peel it, boom, there we go. So, oh, that's kind of cool how they did that. So there's like a, almost like an acrylic tube. And there's two LEDs. So there's one, let me actually point to it. So there's an LED here and here. And as you can see right at the tube, you know, this one goes up, this one goes down. And then same thing right here. There's an LED here and here. This one goes up, this one goes down. So it does give you a good lighting effect. But I want to fill this with a strip. All right, so I got a couple of them. I have this one, which is very dense, but it's white. So as you can see, yeah, if I can pull it apart. So as you can see, there's a lot of LEDs, and each one of these can be any color at any time. So it's not like the cheap ones where you get like groups of three that have to be a color, and then you know, so on and so forth. But it's white. And then I also have these ones, which aren't as pixel dense but it's black and it's in this you know waterproof coating that i can take off but i'm thinking the black ones would look really cool so it would basically go like this and then i probably just would leave that cover off i would assume cut that strip pull these lights out so the black pcb just looks way cooler this white, I just feel like it would stick out a lot. And then the lights would actually just, oh man, they fit in that slot almost perfect. What I would probably do is just run a bead of glue along this whole strip. And then basically just boom. And those would fit perfect. I mean, there's like half a millimeter of overhang, if you can see it right there. So obviously you're never gonna see that once the grill is on. And then I would just have the three little wires coming through here. Just drill a little hole, pop them through there. Oh man, that's gonna be cool. Yep, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm not gonna show that on camera because there's plenty of videos on how to wire up these LED strips. Um, these are addressable, so you have power, ground, and data. And you need a little controller for them, of course. I'm gonna get those wired up and glued in, and you guys will see right here in a second. So the only issue is the controller I have, oh, you know what? I think the control. no, 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 yep. The only issue is the controller I have needs five volts. So this battery puts out 12 volts, so I can't just wire it straight to the battery, which of course I wouldn't do anyways, you need a fuse. But what I'm gonna do on this board, because there's I'm using so little, I'm gonna find on this board, there's a lot of five volt outputs. I'm gonna find one on there and tap into it, which would be perfect because then when the speaker's off, the lights are off. Um, they will be remote controlled through an app on my phone, but they will only have power when the speaker is on, which is what I want. So I will get back to you guys here in a second. I'm gonna get these strips all set up and BRB. All right guys, so I am done kind of um, with the lighting. So I got them glued in place here. Um, I got little holes drilled on the bottom here where the wires I ran through. So I'll show you the backside what I did. Um, if you remember, each of these had a little like circuit board. Um, I took those out. I took the wire for it out, which went up to this like main one right here. This just kind of fed the different lights to the different areas. Um, but this is staying because this is feeding um, the lights for these speakers right here, which I'm going to keep in there. Because um, that part was cool. I just wanted to customize this outer part right here. 
So what I did was I removed the three because this one had them built in. So what I did is I took a little like pair of snips and I cut the LEDs off this, which, you know, just go right here. It's just the only two LEDs on this board. So I wasn't really worried about showing anything. This is my wiring coming up from the strips. And then it goes up here to the controller, which is glued in. And then I'll show you where it goes, but let's uh, go ahead and put this grill back on. I'm going to end up... For now, I'm just leaving it as is, but uh, I do think I'm going to pop this off at a later date and uh, definitely paint it because I think they could really make this thing pop. Maybe even white would look cool, black with the white. I don't know, but I believe it doesn't matter how it goes, but you'll probably have to kind of push the tabs in as you go to get it to actually pop back in. So it'll be a little bit tricky, but a little finesse, a little force. You shouldn't really have to force too hard because if you're forcing, there's probably one that's not lined up quite right. Uh, like this one went in. I had to force it a little bit, I guess. And then this one's in right here. That one's in. These two are in. That one. That one. All four of these. Yep, cool. We're good. So I'm going to go ahead and just bend these back like that. I'm going to push on the grill with my with, with this hand. So I'm pushing it like back in here while I pinch this out. That way there's no slack. You know, there's not going to be any vibrations. Oh, that one's kind of sharp. Be careful. And there we go. So those are back in place. Um, now what I'm going to do... I have this plug hanging right here. This is my power for the LED controller. So there is a five volt connection on this board right here. It's really cool. If you look at most of these, they're labeled as what they are. Um, so this one, this actually might be the amp up here. I'm not sure. Cause this has like a speaker output, um, battery negative, battery positive, um, ground and DC in. And then we have a five volt and ground right here. So I went ahead and I tapped into this. That's going to give me the 5 volts I need to power this little controller right here. And then let's see. Let's try to... So I'm going to put a dab of glue in here. Just a little bit so it kind of helps hold it. My glue gun is not plugged in anymore, so it's getting kind of cool. But like I said, just a little dab. I'm not trying to permanently seal the thing because I'm sure at some other date I'll end up wanting to open it back up for some reason. Now this is going to go like this. I'm going to plug this in. And then basically just try to fish all these wires back through while not getting anything in the way. There we go. Cool. Everything came through really easily. I was worried about that power wire for sure, but I think we are good for that connection. I can actually drop that down here a little bit. Yeah, that's good. So now I'm going to throw the screws back in here. get these bottom ones in and I'm also doing the same thing when I'm tightening this up I'm kind of pushing on this so it's you know pushed up against this uh this MDF right here so there's as little of gap as possible okay so I want to get my battery screwed back in here because remember we popped this out And so again, I will at a later date be doing that little mod with the battery like I talked about. Um, I'm just basically going to splice some bigger leads onto here and have two outputs going. And then somewhere in this case, run some sort of connector to uh, 
you know, basically just have like an additional connection to that battery. So now I'm going to put these two back in. And I'm not going to fully put it back together yet. I just kind of want to get everything like connected and then power it up. You know, connected or put together back enough basically so it's not going to, you know, fall apart when I try to flip it over. So that bottom is not good enough now. Oh yeah, those strips look pretty cool in there too. Like it's sleek. You can tell, but like you wouldn't really know that it was modified. Now let's go ahead and connect all this good stuff. So this is right here. Plenty of slack for that one. Plenty of slack for this one. A lot of these wires have a ton of slack, and then there's a couple of them that you get like nothing. That one's all right. So one of these pins, and this one is bent. It's kind of hard to see it, but you see that one right there. So I'm going to take this pick, bend it back a little bit, and that should be all right. Or that will be all right. Okay, that's plugged in. Now we're plugging in the five volts. So now, theoretically, we are all connected. Let's see what happens. Oh, whoa. So as soon as I hit the power, this thing comes on. Power on. Man, those look so good. Pairing. Oh my God, the camera does it no justice. Alexa, turn the lights off. Okay. Man. So when I hit my normal lights button, um, what you're seeing with the speakers here is what these outside lights would be doing. But basically just kind of like doing this like kind of like weird, awkward pattern. And then you got blue. And then you have like the color changing, which I believe goes like with sound. All right, guys. So I do apologize about the nasty sound and static, but it's kind of triggering these lights to work so you see they kind of go with the sound like they're pretty like you know it's cool but like they're not great and then you just got standard red green blue and then it just kind of clicks between each one and also every time you turn it on it just starts back on the red, which is kind of annoying, but hey, it is what it is. But these bad boys right here, so these are controlled by your phone. Um, so this is Bluetooth. When you turn it on. Power off. Uh-oh. You guys see me turn it off, so how long are they going to stay on? So I'm going to go ahead and chop a lot of the stuff out of this video, but... What I ended up finding out after a long time was that if the lights are on full power, basically what's happening is it's drawn enough power that it thinks it's charging a phone, and it's actually keeping power going to the USB port. Um, if I dim them down or I manually turn them off, it cuts power to them as soon as the speaker turns off, which is pretty good. Um, so what I basically did to kind of combat this is I turned the brightness on the lights way down, and what it does is it uses way less power but it still looks way better and brighter than the factory lights do so you can't even tell not really a big deal um i might pop it back open and see if i can find a circuit that you know works just shuts off you know with this system or whatever but uh as of now i'm satisfied with the way it is and if you guys have any questions shoot them down below it's probably not the last you're gonna see of the speaker i will be like i said um opening up and putting probably down here, you know, just to keep it clean, um, that cigarette lighter output, you know, port, whatever you want to call it. Everything went back together smooth. Um, all I got to do is obviously put the screws back in this, but um, these sticky things that, you know, I came off, if they're not sticky anymore, heat them up a little bit. So I have a heat gun. You can use like an air dryer, um, like a torch, but obviously keep the flame away. You know, don't 
put the flame on this. Just keep it away so the heat's just going towards it. Get it warm, and then stick it back down, and it should stick perfectly fine. Um, you could run a little bead of like hot glue or something down along it too. Plenty of options. And then, honestly, like it's a good speaker. Like you're never gonna know it was opened. So yeah, all right guys, um, thank you for watching. And here at the end of this clip, I will show you like a little light demo. I'll put, uh, just kind of get some different patterns going, controlled through my phone, and then I'll record it, and then switch the pattern, then record it. So, all right guys, thank you for watching.